Imagine you've been managing your type 2 diabetes with metformin for years, and then one day, you decide to stop. What happens next? In this video, we'll explore what can happen when you stop taking metformin, examining both potential benefits and risks. Number 1. Understanding Metformin's Role First, let's understand metformin. Metformin is a cornerstone in type 2 diabetes management due to its multifaceted benefits. It primarily lowers blood sugar levels by reducing hepatic glucose production and improving insulin sensitivity in muscle and fat tissues. This dual action stabilizes blood sugar levels and supports weight management, as metformin is often linked to modest weight loss. It also offers cardiovascular benefits by lowering LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, crucial for heart health. If you suddenly stop taking metformin, your body loses these protective mechanisms making blood sugar control significantly more challenging and increasing the risk of diabetes-related complications. If you're considering stopping metformin, options may include other oral medications like sulfonylureas or DPP for inhibitors, GLP-1 receptor agonists, or lifestyle changes such as a low-carb diet and increased physical activity to manage blood sugar effectively. Number two, the immediate impact on blood sugar levels. Within days of discontinuing metformin, you may notice significant changes in your blood sugar levels. Your liver may ramp up glucose production, causing spikes in blood sugar, a condition known as hyperglycemia. Early symptoms include increased thirst, polydipsia, frequent urination, polyuria, blurred vision, and fatigue. Persistent hyperglycemia can lead to more severe complications, such as diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA, especially in individuals with type 1 diabetes or significant insulin deficiency. Recognizing these symptoms early is crucial. If left unchecked, severe hyperglycemia can result in hospitalization and be life-threatening. Number 3. The body's response to higher blood sugar. As blood sugar levels rise, your pancreas is compelled to increase insulin production to manage the higher glucose levels. This increased demand can lead to insulin resistance where your body cells become less responsive to insulin over time. Initially, the pancreas may adapt to this stress, but chronic overproduction can lead to beta cell exhaustion, impairing insulin production. If this occurs, you may require additional medications or even insulin therapy to regain control over your blood sugar levels, complicating your diabetes management journey. Number four, risk of complications. With higher blood sugar levels and stressed insulin production, the risk of long-term complications increases significantly. Persistent hyperglycemia can damage blood vessels and nerves throughout the body, leading to conditions such as neuropathy, characterized by pain, tingling, or loss of sensation in the extremities. Diabetic nephropathy or kidney damage can occur, impairing kidney function and potentially leading to kidney failure. The risk of cardiovascular events, including heart disease and stroke, also escalates as high blood sugar levels contribute to arterial damage and inflammation. Number five, weight gain and lifestyle changes. Interestingly, many people experience weight gain after stopping metformin. This medication not only helps control blood sugar, but also curbs appetite and reduces cravings for carbohydrates. Without metformin's appetite suppressing effects, you may notice an increase in hunger, especially for high calorie and high carbohydrate foods. This can lead to weight gain complicating diabetes management further as excess weight exacerbates insulin resistance. Additionally, weight gain can lead to further complications such as hypertension and sleep apnea, which are common in individuals with obesity. Number six, psychological effects. The decision to stop taking metformin can significantly impact your mental health. The stress of managing fluctuating blood sugar levels can lead to anxiety, frustration, and feelings of helplessness. This emotional toll may diminish your motivation to adhere to a healthy lifestyle, including diet and exercise, which are crucial for diabetes management. Additionally, if you experience weight gain or worsening health, feelings of guilt or shame may arise, potentially leading to depression. The mental health of diabetes patients is often overlooked, but studies indicate that emotional well-being is closely linked to physical health outcomes. If you're considering stopping metformin, Options may include counseling or medications for anxiety and depression, along with lifestyle modifications such as mindfulness practices and physical activity, which can improve both mental and physical health. Number seven, consulting your doctor. So, 
What should you do if you're considering stopping metformin? Always consult your healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication regimen. They can help you explore the underlying reasons for your decision, whether due to side effects, personal beliefs, or lifestyle changes. Your doctor may suggest alternative management strategies, such as dietary modifications, increased physical activity, or other medications that may better suit your health profile. Options might include GLP-1 receptor agonists or DPP-4 inhibitors, which can help manage blood sugar levels effectively. It's essential to have a clear plan in place, including close monitoring of your blood sugar levels to avoid the pitfalls of stopping treatment abruptly. Open and honest discussions with your healthcare team ensure that you remain on the best path for your diabetes management and maintain optimal health outcomes. Stopping metformin isn't a decision to take lightly. It sets off a chain reaction that can lead to higher blood sugar, increased complications, potential weight gain, and emotional distress. If you or someone you know is considering this path, be sure to weigh the risks and discuss it with a healthcare professional. Tell us about your experience with metformin in the comments section below. You should also watch this video on other metformin facts you should know. And please subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.